Hi, I'm Ted Goldstein, structural engineer with Atlas II. And today I wanna to walk you through the new HSS Connections Hub on atlastube.com. The Connections Hub is a collection of typical details, connection calculators, and it comes with the ability to get in touch with our structural engineers if questions come up. Let's take a tour of that with, through some of these features. Over here, I've got a connection started, but if you sign up for the hub, just make a username and password, you'll start with a, uh, a set of project details where you can enter your project name, location, etc. When you're ready to start a new connection, you can come to this menu and choose from the connection types available. For the most part, what we have at the moment are beam to column connections, but this will grow in the future. For each different type of beam and column combination and connection type, so for example, wide flange beam to HSS column shear connections, or HSS beam to HSS column moment connections, there are a few different configurations to choose from. We've got single plate connections for the simple lower loaded uh, cases, or if you had a very high lo highly loaded connection, you could use a double angle. In this case, we'll choose the single plate for simplicity. Now, when you open up a new connection, you can select your member sizes and loading, and of course, give it a name. I've already got one of these started, so I'll go to that now. You can see in this case, we've got that same single plate connection. I've got a W18 by 65 beam and an HSS 12 square column. As you would expect, you have fields to enter all the normal parameters for any calculation. The thicknesses of plates, weld sizes, edge distances and bolt properties, uh, and of course your loading. In this case, we also have a graphic of the connection on the right side here, which is live and will respond to changes. So if we go from four bolts to five, we'll see that show up right away in that graphic. Let's stick with four for now. You can of course also change the size of the bolt and the grade, exclude or include the threads in the shear plane, and choose slip critical if necessary. If we go down, we have the connection loads, which we can edit. I've already put in some simple dead and live loads, but of course you can also do uh, snow loads, seismic loads, or whatever else your project requires. If we scroll down, we'll see the uh, drop downs in the menu here that let you see all of the parameters that are going to be used for the calculation. So starting with the basic geometric properties of the column and beam to edge distances. And then after that, the actual calculations that are being performed. One of the most important parts of this calculation package is to ensure that engineers can see exactly what's going on behind the scenes so that it's not a black box. And to ensure that engineers not only receive an answer for their connection, but also understand the process. So for example, here we can go sh to the shear yielding of the shear plate, click on that, and not only will we get the utilization percentage at the bottom, we'll also have an explanation of what the limit state is checking and a code reference. We can collapse that here and look at the various other checks that the uh, program is doing. HSS column capacity, in this case punching shear of the column face, bolt capacity, the capacity of the, of the web of the beam, and checking the welds. All of these results are summarized on the right side and at the top in a color-coded set of utilization numbers. Of course, anything above 100% means changes to the connection will be required to make it meet code. Once the connection is in a, a place where you want it, you can pres uh, produce a report uh, if necessary for submission. So I'll produce a PDF report here if we go to export. And I've already actually got that in another tab, so we'll open that up. And we can see the report here. Uh, the reports can actually be produced in either fully detailed or summary versions. In this case, I have the fully detailed version, which includes every single line of the calculation, again, with all of the code references. This makes it easy for anyone reviewing the calculation to see exactly where all the numbers came from. At the top, the user can put their 
engineering company's uh, logo in to ensure that the um, that the report is as professional as possible. Once the connection design is completed, we want to make it easy to get the uh, design onto your drawings as well. So tied to the connection calculators, we have typical details available in drawing and Revit, uh, DWG and Revit format, as well as PDFs. If I open the PDF here to show, you can see that this is an engineering type drawing that can be placed directly onto the contract documents with minor changes to account for project specific conditions. The combination of connection calculators and typical details will make it much easier for engineers to produce efficient designs that are fabricator friendly uh, without reinventing the wheel or starting from scratch. We think it's going to be a great addition to the HSS design ecosystem. Mm -hmm.